<laughs> Lift it up, baby. You going down. Hey guys, so this is part two to episode 12. This whole episode has already been uploaded. Unfortunately, due to coronavirus, NBC has not been able to release the claim on our video. It is not their video, but they oftentimes will claim our video as if it's their video and it's not their video. So due to this whole virus, our video has not been released yet. So we're gonna try this upload again, try re-uploading it in two different parts. Thank you for watching part one and- Okay, baby, let's get started. This bitch come walking in here looking wrinkled as hell. Eva looking like, oh shit, no the fuck, it's not the cookie lady. It's, it's the cookie lady. lady. Oh, wonderful. Oh, hi. Good to see. Uh, how are you guys doing? Okay. Good. Oh sh Hi, how are you? Bitch, I think I'm gonna tip out. You should have stood there, had Tanya back because you seen that it just was, it was about to go down. playing field, it's what right. it was. Since Tanya clearly came for me and I didn't send for her, I sent for the cookie lady, and now she's here for Tanya. Cynthia, yeah. who don't know where the fuck she wanna be at. As I said earlier, right. I don't know. I was told the information. So if you want to know, you can ask this young lady oh. who was here. Yeah, I, I, hold on now, hold on now. Yeah. Because I, I need to make my, my part in this very clear so that Kenya doesn't have to do that for me, okay? When we came to your store, Ain't gonna say nothing uh, on the side of Tanya. Yeah. She was only trying to save her own ass mm -hmm. when Kenya threw up under the bus. We had our stuff, we talked, we had Brooklyn, and we did our thing. As we were getting up to leave, right. you came up to Kenya and I and said, I have some information. When the right. cameras were down and she thought they mm -hmm. were away, yeah. Right. Because she didn't say nothing before that. This is such I a nice, yeah. nice arrangement of you yeah, coming so. from bubbling up to her. Anyways. Tanya does get a little bit excited. At a point in the conversation, we kind of like lost interest with one another. This is the way, stop. That's it? <laughs> Calm down, baby. Oh. It's a shame that she had to tell you that. That's kind of embarrassing, but you do. She gets a little too it. <laughs> what could I have to do? It's like but she, she gets excited. Calm like, down, bitch. Ain't no calm down, bitch. I'm over excited about the fact that you sent up your tunnel on your goddamn self. You ain't did shit. You right, and I get it. But still, Paul needs his ass got into because you shouldn't have stopped this bitch. Right. And said right. nothing to her. I don't care if you lost interest, you shouldn't have stopped her. But good job for not sweating it. Tanya shouldn't sweat it. She should have had a poker face the whole time. No excitement or nothing. I would have had a poker face. Okay, thank you. I would have pulled a Nene on her ass. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> You know I'm gonna give you this right here. I'm gonna give you this right here. Uh, for the rest of this time we sitting up here. And, right, <laughs> period. I would've just gave her all of my ass to Kiss my ass! Bitch, girl. fuck oh. you. Seriously, I'm so serious. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I mean, I, my feelings aren't hurt. It's the same as what we had talked about. Now the yes. air is cleared. If the there was something cleared. going on about your man, you would want to know, and you said yes. And so, and guess so what? why are you? There wasn't. To me, the story was kind of dumb. It was it like, was. And if you're gonna say out your own mouth, nothing really happened. It wasn't nothing because of the fact that we didn't continue on, but. The information was really just as minuscule yeah, as was Tanya revealing Kenya's wig. And it was. Kenya just blew all of this out of proportion. The Girl, you had conversations at the bar. You think it was just casual conversation? It wasn't just casual conversation. It sounded like you just want drama because you just said y'all lost interest. <laughs> it was really nothing, so y'all moved on. So I don't, I'm not understanding why you're making it as if, um, <coughs> oh, it wasn't casual just because she not sweating it. Don't sweat it. Don't make so. yourself look so thirsty because you're looking real thirsty, cookie lady, and them damn cookies looking real thirsty too. I noticed the gentleman, like, so I get up and go to the restroom. When I go to the restroom, he follows me to the restroom. Wow. When we go to the restroom, the bathrooms are together, right? At Chops? Right, at the right there. Yep. Seriously, she is a pretty lady. Lies, lies, and more lies, and lies on top of lies. That's all that is. She's pretty, but to me, she doesn't look better than Tanya. Hell she doesn't. No. Her hair is pretty, but bitch, she looks like a mosquito. <laughs> she looks so thin, like she on that shit. You need to eat some cookies, bitch. Yeah, she need to eat some cookies <laughs> and bread. You skinny bitches. <laughs> A cookie bread sandwich, bitch. But Kenya has bread. a difficult time admitting to her fake nature. Uh -huh. You know, she didn't want to admit that she had a boob job. Dr. Curves tried to call uh -huh. her ass out. Hello. Hi. Have a seat. Does this say Dr. Curves? It really does. You know what? Before I take yeah. my stuff off, I want to put you to the test. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Can you tell who in the group has had breast implants and who hasn't? Implant. <laughs> yeah, she'll start. <laughs> okay, that's okay. I'll take it. Implant. Nope. No? Natural. You know, it's hard. You, know, here's you can laugh all you want. First step is confessing that you had a botched job. Kenya. Oh, I think that's your implant over there on the table. No, I've always had big breasts. 
Kenya, lots of speculation about whether your boobs are all natural. Portia did not seem to buy what you were selling. Okay. <laughs> I've always had big boobs. So, hey, look. so we're standing there talking, 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 talking. Then we go to the bar. We talked. He told me he was single. He said he was, uh, he did real estate. Here she go. And he said he wasn't married too. After everything dimmed down and the story is basically over, Kenya brings up, and he said he wasn't married too. He said he was single, right? Right, he was single. right. He said he said he was single, right? Um, he did say he was single. He also said he said he was in real estate. Well, that's what he said. Why are you trying to start this shit all up again? Because the girl ain't got nothing to say. It's all over with now. So yeah. that's what happened. Okay, deuces. And he, he said he was single too, right? Like, come on, Kenya. Like, you, you're really trying to keep this going and it's really over with, like right. Kenya said. Like, he was pretty adamant on me sitting at the table, hanging out, and chilling for a while. Wonderful. I'm at the dinner. Why is it such negative energy, honey? Don't be mad at me because I'm gorgeous and your, your fiance just happened to just glance this way. It's really nothing that really happened. For you to insert yourself into like a girl group and be like, I've got something to report. Oh, I didn't that's do it like that, nothing. darling. It wasn't done like that. Well, how did it come up? I'm no, very classy. No, 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 no. Okay. Cynthia's dead ass wrong for not having that girl back. If she wanted to be with the she would've came right, I would've, right with the camera's I can tell you that. But I'm saying at the end of the day, I feel like it's revealed. There's no snake gate. There's no question about anything. And it's dead. Wrong. Not until she threw you on the bus now you want to try to protect yourself she is my girl but i'm pissed off at her right now for two reasons inviting a lady to the brunch and for throwing me under the bus to make it seem like i was trying to use any information that i knew of to her tenure because that was not the case and she knows that eva didn't have nothing to say but you're gonna sit here with this girl bye eve not here for the cookie lady okay i think the cookie lady is very messy i think this is very shady but lady can make a hell of a cookie cookie was good I would, if I was Tanya, I would have been like deuces to you too, bitch. I'm sorry, Tanya, I know you're most likely mad at me, but it wasn't me, it was Maverick. Cookie was real good. What the fuck? As far as I'm concerned, you said what you need to say, you said what you needed to say. Oh, so much better. Okay, you know exactly what it is, and I get my food to go and we can go. Please let me know, I might fall into the bathroom. Then y'all decide to take cookies from this bitch. I wouldn't have took nothing. I feel like Tanya and Eva, it was a mean gesture. Off the floor. It was a mean gesture because you could have went and bought cookies later. Sprinkles. That's sugar. That sugar, sugar Oh, wow. That's sugar. Sugar. You don't take the cookies. Y'all went in the middle of the cookie shop, bitch. It's like you saying, no damn cookies we ain't really your friend. No See cookies for ten. Maverick. Sorry, Eva. You better, you better stop at QT on the way yeah. home, baby. Ain't That's no wrong. cookies for Cynthia, bitch. Your sprinkles and fuck Kenya, too. Bye with the cookie hole and your drip drop from underneath exactly. your armpit. Very, take that. Was that white chocolate? Which one? I'm gonna tell people I want to take. Uh uh, because I don't know. I know Cynthia like those okay. white chocolate sprinkles. She got it. Oh, she got it. I do. But yeah. I want to see my mouth. I don't like sprinkles. So Tanya, she was dripping on her arm. Yeah, that bitch um, piss was dripping like damn Sunday morning. Yeah, it was. Damn way in the water. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Jesus. <laughs> Cynthia like those okay. white chocolate sprinkles. That's how my shit do. Yes. Um, my shit drips like that, and I don't know why. Yeah. Tanya's confessional is very weak of her. I think the cookie lady revealed herself for the fraud she is. You give me you that type of bitch that'll let Paul do whatever. You're like, it's kind of like, hey, you went to the Jay-Z concert, you made eye contact with him on stage, and then you walk around saying, oh my God, I'm pregnant by Jay-Z, because he looked at me. So I kind of feel sorry for her. No, it wasn't like that. It's like you need to get in Paul's ass, but don't swear I know she feel like bitches. Paul is the shit. That's what you do. You know, is she, because he got some big kahunas. Right, that's true. Them, and a big makeup count. Them babies is big. Right. I don't like sprinkles. Thank you so much. I, I walk you out. Bye. I want to hang out with you some more. There is no possible way that Kenya could have walked away from this damn lunch with a smile on her damn face. Bitch, uh -uh. fuck around with me, honey. I am no. so here to tell no. you. She would have been pissed off. Gotten such a rise out of Miss Kenya Moore that she would have wanted to fight me. Uh huh. Um, I would have shook her chair just like she did Kim Field. Okay. Oh, let's stand up and clap. Yeah. Let's, oh, let me pull your chair for you. Kenya, 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 Kenya. Don't do that. 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 I just wanted to shift it a little bit. Yeah, just like she do. I, 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 I would have grabbed her and said, I don't think you're listening, bitch. Right. My thing is, if we're friends, as a grown and woman, no, 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 years. You can never do it, sweetie. Thank you. I'm going with the whip fabulous. Honey, and you need to tell this bitch that she needs to be worried about her recipes and her cookies and not a recipe for disaster. Because exactly. that's what you fucking around with right about now. That's true. Okay. 
one more thing, Kenya's hair would have been on the floor, all right? Off her scalp. I would have scalped this bitch. But she ain't even got no I would have poured a damn, yeah, I would have poured a Margaret and poured that damn water on her head, bitch. Your titties. You should get them done. What is that? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. We are Watch your back, bitch. I just can't help myself. You've been walking up out of here natural today, honey. Dude. Bitch, don't let me pull out my latest tactic. Wonder... Portia. Don't make me call Portia. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Don't make me. Uh, get up again, bitch. Tane, you should have got her, but Tane probably not a fighter. All right, yes, bye, ladies. Bye. Kenya, did you really just sit up here and tell this girl she can't be around your man? Like she that much of a bad bitch? She a bad bitch she more than you? She don't even look. She don't even look better than Kenya. She don't look better than Kenya. She don't look better than Kenya. So I'm not saying why. Then bitch, you, you worry about the crap. She is thin, bitch, thin. <laughs> But there she is, skin and bones in photos taken live that night. So you got to think about that. You think your man won't be in this after having all that voluptuous ass? All right. Come on, Kenya. You, you just trying to kiss this girl ass. You know she thin as paper, bitch. Look, look at PJ. I just can't stop looking at this picture. That's a good picture. I know. It's just so cute. She look like me right there. No, she, I think she, well, yeah. I like your hair today. You, you looking very coming to America-ish. Thank you. Whatever it is you like. Now that Vince and I are back together, we still got some work to do. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Oh, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh. We got a little bit of a cold, so we're gonna give you a long, a long, 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 she already said that Dennis come walking in, slang a lang a lang, and here another man, come in showing. Right. Y'all gotta watch it. She did say that. Them gray jogging pants that uh -huh. I banned. <laughs> you ain't even leaving the house with no gray jogger pants no, on. I think not. No, <laughs> yeah. And it's Talking gray jogger pants season. Man. We argue every morning. The other day, I was like, you need to put on two pair of basketball shorts, buddy. <laughs> these um, ladies and these sissies be watching. I see a ring. You said yes again? I said yes again. So, how are the two of you? I feel like. We've been doing good mm -hmm. with the cards that we've been dealt. There are days that I will ask him questions, you know, just drill him. You understand why she would be asking? And you may have to answer the same question 10 times, but that is for her healing. I don't have much to say about Portia and Dennis' situation. I think that it's kind of um, just foo foo. I think it's a lot of. A lot of foo-foo going on. Foo-foo! That's what I think. Um, I don't really have much to say about it. Where are we in terms of getting back, in terms of the intimacy, where are we with that? First of all and foremost, I have never been cheated on in a serious relationship for mm -hmm. me, okay? I don't know what the road to forgiveness looks like. I'm just in the middle of this right now. When we are, um, when we go into our room, literally since he put the ring back on my finger, um, I did, um, um, I can understand her not wanting, yeah. right. It's okay. Not wanting to open up her body right. to him. It's like, um, since the day, um, he put the ring back on my finger, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's like a mental block. Like, I love him, you know, and, um, for some reason, when we get in the room and the light is turned off, I feel, it doesn't feel right anymore. I love Dennis. But there is a block because of the hurt. I get that. Yeah. yeah. I get that. Just for you to put your body next to somebody else is, is just something that is is hurtful to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he gets how much I loved him wholeheartedly. So to share any of that is just really, really hard for me to get over. I get that. Because you're like, I was pregnant at the time. Your dick was in somebody. You think I want your dick in me? You would think I want your lips on my damn baby? I get what you're saying, Portia. Like Candy said, she's men gonna cheat. You're gonna have to go read so. some books, baby girl. And go watch some Tyler Perry, baby girl. We're on vacation. Diane, we're talking to you, picking up the phone. Are you listening to me? I hear you. Could you lay off of that for a while? Could you go to hell for a while? Already there. 
Sheila, sit over here by your husband. No, 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 no. It is the airline's policy that someone your size has to buy two seats. I may be a little drunk, but somebody at this table got some secrets. Yeah, I'm the bad guy. Is it true? No, I'm not the only married person with a secret at this table. I'm getting sick of this. Wait a minute, this has gone too far. You are getting really dangerous. I have been begging you to spend some time with me. I'm going up this mountain to save my marriage. If this good outweighs the bad, then y'all need to fix this. I think we did all right. Tyler Perry's Why Did I Get Married? And go learn some things, baby girl. Not Tyler Perry, no, that's Tyler Perry. Bitch, you can have your ass sit up there eating ice cream at 5 o'clock in the morning. And plus, Dennis ain't even all that. Like, come on. It is so many niggas sports players. He's not a, he's not a really white man out there. That she don't want to sports treat you like because they have oh. egos. And she's really want, she you wants to be You better go find you a colossal dick white man. With she a doesn't like big bitch. dicks. Y'all oh. know that. Yeah. They can't be worried about the big dicks. Uh, I think so. I don't like big ones, so it might be okay. Aww. So go get a little eight inch dick white boy. That's probably still too big for Portia. Eight inches. She got to leave Dennis alone. Then it ain't even worth it to be cheating on you. I would not. I'm like, I'm looking at him like, honey. He should have been gone, but I think it's just because she honey. was pregnant and she felt like that she could build a family with him. He be Chris Brown. Him. He cheat on me, I'm be like, okay, baby, I forgive you. My mouth. Hell no. We ain't going to Chris Brown. No. I'm just saying, baby. <laughs> he don't like Chris Brown. He still finds him. On one hand, I have to get back comfortable to open my body back up to him. But on the other hand, an intimacy issue could cause him to do the very thing that hurt me before, which was cheat. I don't know if Portia should feel ashamed that she doesn't want to have sex with him yeah. right now. I don't know that she should feel ashamed. So I'm having to double trust him at the same time, which is tough. Don't, and, and guess what? If push comes to shove and he end up going to go fuck another bitch, oh well. Oh well. That's your exit out the motherfucking door. Because guess what? You can't get mad at me for my recovery, exactly. period. When you caused my pain, period. and then I had to go through pain, labor, and, and I, all of this by myself, and you decided that it was okay for exactly. you to go, he wasn't just not fucking nobody when they was broke up. And he was still having sex with bitches until um, he figured out Portia still want me. Exactly. If I tell you exactly how I feel, uh, you know, about the intimacy, that you'll be like, oh, hell, this about to be a whole year. She about to not have sex with me. Let me go figure something else out or whatever. So I, I just don't know. If he didn't say to, to you, this is the only person that I slept with, period, at all, there's a problem. Yep. Because and he's trying to do a one time thing. And now he's trying to deflect, trying to point it back off that Porsche, like, um, well, you're the only one. Are you annoyed? Are you uncomfortable that she brought this up? I mean, come on, I'm not the only one that's got to do some work. Absolutely. So, like, Nigga, we ain't getting nothing in the news about Portia. You cheated, okay? What do you want her to do? She, he trying to say she ain't having sex with me. She ain't intimate. <laughs> Cynthia, come through, ass bitch. She's fucking jeans. I you the police. Hey, are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby. I had to make sure I wasn't the police. <laughs> Why are you doing it? Hi. I think that Mike is going to deceive us all, and we need to be careful. Wow. I live in a gated community. You kind of scared me. <laughs> but we will see. I hate let to us say just, it, but I do too. Let us just see, because I know what I said in the past. He looked like he's arguing. It's going to be subtle. It looks like they're going to know how to argue. We might recant. We like might not. We'll see, we'll yet. see. But I think that Mike, now I look at him and it's like, oh my God, he is a deceiver to me. That's what my opinion. I think he deceives like hell and he has a good face for it. Damn, Mike's dick must have been hard as a brick yeah. because Cynthia said, it's hard to hide it. It's like right there. And he said, it's right there. It's like right there. It's like right there. And she was like, it's right there, babe. Yeah. It's right there. Like fitting <laughs> some chicken sandwiches yourself. <laughs> Damn! Hey, Mark. At first, I was not too keen on Mark. I didn't think he was so cute, but I mean, I guess he is. Hi! Good hey. to see you again. Hey. How's it going? Hey. This happens a lot between the two of us. You know, like Jesse Smollett, I thought that he was just like very attractive. Yeah. Not at first. I didn't think so. Drake, I didn't think Drake was cute. Yes. Now I think Drake is cute. Mark and I are looking at his face because he wants to throw a charity event and we need a place to host it. The charity is called The Black Man Lab and it benefits young black men who are looking to have role models. Mark looks good. I think that he is very aggressive. Let, let me let me walk it through my mind. Let me come through. Before. Okay. I like the garage door. I love that style. You probably have a step and repeat here. It's got to be right when you first come in. The stage has to be here. Get the plugs so it makes sense. Right? He is because the they jumped right into this whole conversation and it just seemed as if. He's from New York, um, though, so they are very aggressive. I don't know if editing edited this way. Where's the kitchen? It's no kitchen. She told me there's a kitchen. No, this is it. 
I think you have your tables here, bam, 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 not too close to the bathroom. He's over talking her every time she has an input, or if she, yeah, he's really over talking, if he never gave her a chance to talk. It's like every time she tries he's to talk, he's talking, he's, he ain't. He's over talking her. It's, it seems a little, it feels a little tight for what we for the number of people, but the question is how many people. The tables I feel have like to I'm chasing you. The tables have to be at least five people. Well, I'm thinking through, so I have to go through it visually. Okay. Girl, Kenya been chasing him, honey. So she bad. been chasing it. Right. She want to be a wife so bad. She she does. The food shouldn't be close to the bathroom. It'll be tight for That's like about, that's 50 people versus 100 people. She's, the that. tables can't be near the bathroom, so everything has to be on this side. Kenya wants to be a wife so bad. She been chasing him forever. Yeah, like she's like, I feel like I'm chasing you. You've been honey. chasing him, honey. You've been for chasing any man. Nothing odd here. That's why you will accept anything. And it's just, it's ridiculous that mm -hmm. because her mom didn't want her. If a person's mother don't want to be bothered with them. You know something. Uh, I ain't said Marlo said it. Then it's like she don't well, know she what for love how a man is supposed place. to love a woman. Uh -huh. And I don't think her daddy taught her well enough. When Mark gets excited about something, he has a one-track mind. You don't really interrupt. You don't really chime in. You just let him do his thing. I don't know. He was aggressive he when he came know. over. He is aggressive. He and I think that she aggressive. sees a lot of her father in Mark. Then her auntie Laura was damn aggressive. Remember yeah, that? She's aggressive. Then Shay looked like a man, so. It could get very congested very quickly. I can show you some other ones that I passed on. It might be right for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but this producer is Shady Boots, baby. He's like he should treat you more like his wife and his lover, not a homeboy. Right. Oh, I appreciate it. All right. Appreciate it. Those are Girl, good job. Some doubt, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> A homeboy, bitch, and Kenya can't even answer the question. <laughs> That's a funny question. <laughs> That's true. She seemed very um, weak in her confessional while she's talking about Mark. It's like a whole nother person switches on. So let's talk to Mike because I really want him to host it. Wait, I sent Colin? you his number. Yeah, I sent you his number. So. Is this Magic Mike? Yes, Mike. Yes, it is. <laughs> I like how you said yes, it is. <laughs> Mark keeps moving his head over while they're on the phone with Mike. She called Mike, and every time Mark is in the phone, Kenya's trying to, it's like he's moving his head over and over. Together, so we're trying to plan so, another couple's night, so that'd be good when you come. And over, like, don't touch me, bitch. <laughs> don't touch me, bitch. You know, like, he yeah. don't really like her like that. Where's my sister? <laughs> she's, uh, she's, she's actually in the bathroom. She is, okay, okay. So we don't have to be a couple tonight, man. That's why I'm gonna jump in once she jumped in. I wanna plan some where all the guys go out. I do think that he, he needs to show a little bit more affection, cause the dap, the dap, and appreciate it, and not a hug, and thank you. Right, come on, man. I would've went off. Yeah. We can lead the ladies home if you guys no, want to. Lead the <laughs> I'm trying to lead the ladies home. She's trying to, she's trying to jump on our event, man. Get she's trying to jump on our thing, man. <laughs> That's all right. All right, all right. All right brother, take okay, it easy. Okay, bye, Magic Mike. Bye. <laughs> Mark is giving me that he can be Ike Turner real quick. Watch this. Admit that you have slapped Tina before, but why Ike? She would be walking around looking sad, with, with, uh, uh, looking sad with a lip drop, and I keep asking her, "And what, what is the matter with you? What's wrong?" And it's always <laughs> nothing. Yeah, uh, uh, and it would go on for a day or two till finally, why the f don't you? And, and then this is where I would slap her or something. Then she would change her mood or attitude. Mike to my whips and chains. Don't start no more sex dungeon rumors, honey. Okay. You and Mimi would do That's the type of shit they probably like. You know what I want to do right now? Me! Got it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yes! Yeah, let's do, do it. Do me, baby. Yeah. Got the whips upstairs. Ah! <laughs> it seemed like, like he said that dick was hard. It seemed like it still ain't went down all the way and he ready to... Let's go. He seems like he has a very high sex drive and you said that about Leo's, that Leo's are very sexual, yes. Right. Isn't cute? Okay. Huh? What are you doing? I'm looking at new paint colors for the no, no. Or, you know, just figuring out what works, because me and you are about to disagree. What do purple walls? You just like that. You don't want no damn paintings, no drawings, no, no ghetto drawings, or no. Animals, no polka dots. No, we don't want no damn, we don't want no characters and shit all over the wall. We do not want characters and all that kind of shit. Remember what I said? I don't want no hood, daycare colors and animation characters on the walls, okay? Clean, cool. Purple, yellow on the wall, it's, it's good, right? I think that that's fine. We don't want all the extra shit on the wall, but purple right. and yellow, that's not that big of a deal. I cannot believe that the time has flown like it has. Like in two months, my baby is going to be here. My schedule has been crazy. A lot of people don't know this, but acting was my first love. Went to performing arts high school, and I also was in like a musical theater group. In Chicago on Broadway, I played Mama Morton. Candy, this blue confessional yes. bitch. You better come through. I was in the vagina monologues. I was six years old when my mother told me all about my 
new father. I've done multiple independent films. Like I said before, that dark color down there, that eye makeup down Underneath there. The, yeah. My own theater pieces. Forever. I've done a lot of things, and now I just want to take it to the next level. With all the royal blue, I think that is, they did that confessional. You know, my mom was like talking about Riley and she was like, I'm gonna put Riley as my beneficiary and then I'll put you after Riley. Mama Joyce feel like everybody gonna take candy money that nobody gonna take care of Riley or that he's not gonna take care of Riley. That's just wrong. Right. He would never do something like that. Cause I'm sure Riley gonna make sure, you know, her little sisters and brothers be still taken care of. Like as if you won't make sure Riley's good or something. Oh God. Yeah. I think that Todd would definitely give Riley 25% of Candy's net worth, give Joyce 15% or of some of her net worth, right? And keep the other 60% to split in a trust between him, Blaze, and Ace. And I was like, uh, Wait, did she say that or she you just kind of get it from the conversation? No, she said that. I don't think that he would ever take all of the money. And she don't think I would make sure Riley was okay? Basically, she didn't want to leave it up to you. Wow. It just leads back to what we said. Candy is always shows herself worthy of a spinoff. People want to know why. My mother and Tide have unfortunately had a long negative history. I do feel your opportunists. What do you think I'm getting out of it? <laughs> what you getting out of it? Look at this. They, they're showing us this roller coaster between Todd and Mama Joyce. When she introduced Candy to Todd, mm -hmm. I told her I could have choked her. But it ended up being good. They got married. Well, Candy took a lemon and made lemonade. <laughs> this is normal. This roller coaster between these two. They always in and out, in and out with each other. And we didn't know that they was back on bad terms. Then after we got married, it seemed like that she was trying to get a little bit better. I love you and I am so proud of you. And I'm sorry. But we would love to see that in a reality, in, in a mini series spinoff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Them two. Well, I mean, she also talked about not wanting my name to be on her house. So if something happened, then she, she ain't got to deal with you. Damn, that's crazy. It's sad that they have to talk about this and Candy, you can tell she's about to cry. I mean, but realistically, you did have the same concerns too at some point, because like you didn't want to have to deal with my mom and them if... And like she said, you got to talk about these things because... You know, you do have to prepare for anything. Yeah. And those conversations are the hard conversations for people to have. I mean, just like even when we did the whole prenup, that was hard. It didn't have to be as hard as it was. I think Kim Porter might have had just died around this time of them filming this. Something happened then. I would not like, want to deal with your mom. What? Mm -hmm. I win. I win. So, I mean. To see both of them at odds again, I'm not surprised, only because of Mama Joyce. Right. She's the reason. She's the cause, no matter how Candy want to take it. Mama Joyce is the cause, but sometimes she's right. I just told her that. Don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. Yeah, please take care of your mama. Please have her set up. I definitely am. It's all good. Mm. Ain't nothing but some paperwork. <laughs> hey, I, for I, sure. I don't know what Todd would do for Riley. Hell, look at how he did his own daughter. And I get Mama Joyce. I get her. I ain't stressing nothing. I took my prostate test. <laughs> I'm good for a year, so. <laughs> I don't know. He's saying because he's a Leo and Todd is a Leo. I just don't know because of how he did Kayla. And he give me that he's money, money, money. I don't want your fing money, man. Damn, that's all y'all think about is money. You, your mama, all y'all. And he has something to prove. I think that he would make sure his children by candy are set up and Riley would just have to take the, the change. I think that's what he would do. I do. What, and listen, I don't, don't know why, but I kind of feel I don't know why he feel like that either. It ain't true. It ain't happening. I don't know why I feel that. Nope. I don't know, but hopefully not, Todd. I, I really think you're fine as hell, and I hope you wouldn't do that, Todd. You trying me right now. You trying me. Candy take heed to what people say, too. She'll be done, watch this and see it. Look at Carmen, see what I'm saying? They saying it. But then after that, you know, I don't know what happened. It's like things have started to go backwards again, and I don't know what to do. She's probably more concerned about herself. You know what happened, Candy. You was running back telling Mama Joyce stuff that was happening between y'all. Mama Joyce probably don't like him, but you do vent to your mom or to your auntie and somebody going back telling Joyce. Or Riley ass is going back telling Joyce stuff. So stop telling her stuff and maybe the reactions will be different. Just don't tell her stuff and maybe she won't feel a ways towards Todd. She need to get the out of here. This I'm is a family thing. Anymore. You ain't no damn family. Joyce, Joyce, if you gonna make yourself Mama. look like Mama. that, then you do that. Good. But you gonna do that by yourself. Mama. That's all I think. Yeah, we know she tell her mama every damn thing. Now okay. he's getting ready. Trying to lead everything up. So who's all coming, you guys? What'd you tell? Nat's coming, the usual, Vanessa, uh, Carmen's gonna come, because that's always gonna be fun. Mike and all these girlfriends. Hey, what's up? What up, hey, what up, what up, what up, what up? 
Mike has a lot of female friends. He actually put that out there when we first started dating. Cynthia, what the f did you get yourself into? I was like, you can have all the friends you want. But uh, yeah, he might have should have mentioned that they're all super pretty. So, don't speak all at once. <laughs> How is Mike different now that he's not only in a relationship, but he is engaged? First of all, you're showing that you're just really weak and desperate. But she's weaker. She's definitely weak. Seriously. You really are. You because better watch out. You let, right. <laughs> you don't let these girls come into your man's house and these supposed to be friends and it's only a total of three niggas or two niggas? Did he f that? Oh, probably. Right. That, right. Probably. And it's like, damn, Cynthia, like, you, it, it, it's really weak of you to let all these ladies in, and they're beautiful. Mike is very open about his past. He's even written a tell-all book that's coming out soon. At first, I felt like I knew Mike so well that I didn't really need to read it. <laughs> now, after meeting all his girlfriends, I may need to go ahead and open up that email that says manuscript. And for you not to even read the book, or at least have an assistant read the book and give you a report on the book. Have a, write a, a book a report, summary. Bitch. Give me a book report. <laughs> right, I'm serious. <laughs> have one of them do a summary or something <laughs> of the book because you needed to know all this stuff before you jump into an engagement and a marriage. Like, how the fuck would you not want to know this, Cynthia? Like, this is just crazy and baffling to me that all these ladies can come in here like this and you knew nothing about all these relationships. It didn't really occur to me to ask if he's ever dated any of them. And all this cheating and infidelity. Yes, he's been open about it, but you ain't know you was getting yourself into this. And I just want y'all a bunch of American world top models. Uh, yeah, he might have should have mentioned that they're all super pretty. I, I want y'all to stop using the word girlfriend because that makes all this seem a little polyamorous. You know, those were his girlfriends. Okay, let's talk about that because this is one of the questions that I I asked my fiance. I was like, you have so many gorgeous girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> well, where them hoes at? <laughs> It just makes me feel that way. It makes me feel like escaping polygamy is right around the corner. Just a hop, skip, and a jump away, bitch. And then they are laughing and giggling and kick, 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 Messed up he used to be before he received his blessing by the name of Sadie Denise Bailey. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's in the book, too. Mike really, truly just fooled the fuck out of us. Because yeah. we, I said all this shit good about Mike, that I thought he was this, I thought he was this. And he's not really any of that. Like, he's he done cheated. Also, the fact that Mike has told us before he's never been in love, that you got the idea of it. I was and afraid to. It was a great place feeling. But that's why I told us. Like, you know, we, we caught each other at the right time, mm -hmm. you know? Been open about his infidelity, but damn, like, whoa. Cynthia, You're showing us a whole new life. Man, about why they cheat. Why do they cheat? Mm -hmm. And so I remember asking this question to my I husband. I love that question. Actually. And you know what his answer was? Once a cheater, always a cheater. And I never would forget that. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Kenya Moore said it. Oh, Mark said it. It's gonna be fun. I, you know, I can't really bring too many dudes here for some reason. <laughs> You never well, but you don't have that many guy friends. You have more girlfriends. Yeah, guys. pretty much. Yeah. Mike saying that he's not able to find men and friends is hard for him. Can you know some more dudes for us? I don't like, know dudes like that. I want to know guys in a way and be friendly with them, but at the same time, it's got to be organic, right? I can't force friendships. That's a damn lie. Okay, you are basically in a business that's like totally male dominated. Like you're a sportscaster, you golf all the time, like you do stuff that men do, like all the time. Where are your guy friends? That's what we've been asking for years. Cynthia, you need to stop being so damn desperate and weak. And gullible. And gullible. Damn, girl. Oh my God, I just cannot believe you. Can I tell y'all something? Can I tell you ladies something from the bottom of my heart? I can meet guys out there, but if the guys aren't right for my friends, who are like my sisters, who I adore and I love. <laughs> Cynthia is so gullible. Did she really just say in her confessional she thinks that she's getting him at the best time of his life? I think I'm getting Mike at the best time in his life right now. She is weak. She is really dumb. The he way he grabbed your ass, that dick got hard thank so you. And you, in the damn if dump. he you hard, rough, and good, think about that. When you ain't there. What think about that when you what ain't about there. That, that right. Is he so such a freak when y'all together? Then that means, what is he doing at the office when that ass walked past him and she's single and she willing to suck a dick? Fine. Like, you gotta put stuff into consideration. But he has cheated on his wives before me. What makes me different? These men playing the hell out of these older women. Well, awkward. 
wow that's it guys um till next time again which is a month from now probably i know these videos are spaced out i know that they get blocked sometimes the video is there you probably don't see it's it it's just because, unavailable for you to watch right nbc keeps thinking that this content is theirs it is. and it's not their content it is totally our content we apologize that the videos are hour long it's just that we want to make sure we get the receipts i talk a lot and we have receipts and apparently y'all love it nobody's complaining about the length of the video so it's apparent people love it and y'all love the receipts anyway i'm your boy rico Bellucci. make and sure I'm you Jay. follow us and subscribe hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the bell so that you can be notified when we post the video and follow us on facebook and instagram at the urban bench i'm rico Bellucci. and i'm jay and this is rebel tv stay tuned for more videos click another Bye. one after this one. yeah click another one <laughs> bye bye